So I've been to every type of 12 step meeting mm -hmm. and ones like, because I'll be in a city where, oh shit, I can't find a gamblers, overeaters yeah. or, or a sex and love addict or whatever the addiction, codependence. Yeah. I have- You're I, Helena Bonham Carter and Fight Club or exactly. Ed Norton. Yeah. And they're like, oh, there's only an A meeting or Narcotics Anonymous or Marijuana Anonymous. So I'll, I'll go to that meeting, even though that's not my addiction. And as I listen to thousands of people share their story, I go, oh, it's all gambling. Every addiction is gambling addiction. Every single, when you drink and you get in a car, you're like, I kind of don't care if I make it home mm -hmm. or not, right? That's gambling. When you're like having sex and you're like, I'm not gonna wear a condom. And you're like, oh, I might have a kid. I might get AIDS. I might, that's gambling. And, and so to go to my first Gamblers Anonymous meeting after going to 400 AA meetings in Los Angeles, I was, I was shocked because AA meetings and, and drug um, NA meetings are kind of like parties in LA, right? Like it's mm -hmm. very social, they're bright lights. Yeah, a lot especially of, in LA. 300 people, two, you know, there's celebrities, speaker, you know, it's when you go to a, a sex addicts meeting, a gambler's addicts meeting, uh, you know, the process ones, there's more shame. Yeah. So the it's, lights are a little really lower. It's really dark. There's a, yeah, it's, it's darker. There's a lot of um, shares that end with suicide attempts, you know, so I went to a GA meeting and we went in a circle and every single share, it was a small meeting, it was like six people. Um, every single person shared about how they try to kill themselves. And I've said this before, it's the reason why they don't have balconies in Vegas, because if they did, yeah. there'd be someone jumping off every day. One out of four gambling addicts kills themselves. Um, so people go, G gambling, I don't understand. It's like, so I'm sitting at the meeting and everyone's like telling how much money they've stolen from their family or lied and manipulated people out of so that they could keep gambling, getting that one lotto scratcher, horse rate, everything, right? And I'm scared to share because it's going around the circle and it gets to me and I'm like, I just won $3 million <laughs> at my last, you know? That's so crazy. And I feel exactly the same as you. Mm -hmm. You just said you broke into a car to steal a quarter so you can get the next scratcher. I'm sitting here telling you, I have two rotting vi uh, lobsters in my, in my hotel room. I'm having sex with all these prostitutes and gambling with millions of dollars, winning, handing like hundred dollar bills to everyone I know. And I feel exactly the same as you. So I sat there and I go, how do I feel? How did I feel when I won $3 million at the, on my last trip, right? And I'm playing, a quarter million dollar hands of blackjack in private, private rooms, you know? And at that point I felt very little, you know? But it, like you win $3 million, it feels good, but not that good. Cause I, I was already rich. When I lose $3 million and even better yet, when I lose 30 million, then that feels amazing, mm. right? That feels amazing. So I think that was the disconnect with trying to talk to people in my tribe who are addicts and people who aren't addicts, right? And it doesn't matter if you're an addict or you're not an addict because everyone knows an addict or at least has one in their family. So that's the thing when people go, I don't, but I don't understand. Why don't you stop drinking? Or why don't you yeah. stop? Why don't you stop the behavior? It's like, I wanna fucking lose. That's why, mm -hmm. do you get it? Do you understand now? I don't wanna win. I'm happier when I'm losing. I want to lose everything. But that's even harder for somebody to understand because you're not operating on a rational plane. Right. You know, you're trying to uh, you know, numb the discomfort of your internal pain while also seeking to feel something that will make you feel alive. And if winning's not going to do it, losing certainly is going to. To have and It doesn't matter what that feeling is as long as it's a feeling different from however you feel. Right. And so Sorry, I got fired up there for yeah. a second. Go ahead, no. <laughs> um, so that's hard to explain. That's hard to understand. Like, wait, you know, you're trying to wrap your non-addict brain around someone who's doing everything they can to run away from everything, feel numb, feel nothing, feel everything.